Hello purple lights, welcome to our new reading. You see four piles in front of you guys and we're going to do a reading on, yeah, what you prefer in men, like what do you look for, what qualities and we're also going to um, use our BTS deck that we created, so what BTS qualities do you like in men, so what are you looking for, yeah, and yeah, we're going to see that and I think this is one of the readings you um, really like and you've been waiting for that I do that again on my channel. So here we go. What kind of guy are you looking for to be in a relationship with? We're going to look at characteristics and also features. How should they look like? Um, yeah, okay. And we have four piles. This is the Haunted House Tarot. This is the Romantic Tarot, this Titanic Tarot and this is the um wizards tarot <laughs> okay so choose your pile and then we're gonna see each other at the piles hello pal one you chose the haunted house tarot so i'm gonna shuffle your deck and then we're gonna see what qualities do you like in men what are you attracted to what kind of relationship like not what kind of relationship but with whom what kind of guy do you want for a relationship what are you looking for yeah and we're also going to see their features what are you attracted to and also we're going to look um yeah how what bts members should they resemble okay so here we go pile one can you tell me what kind of guys are or is pile one attracted to so first of all i'm going to look into the characteristics yeah and then we're going to look at the features so characteristic i draw four cards what do you like in a guy? Like, what are you attracted to? So we have the, okay, the magician. Starts good. <laughs> oh, wow. The two of cups. The queen of pentacles. And the six of wands. Okay, wow. Okay, I can already see what you're looking for. You want someone that is really standing in their power. Yeah, you look for, um, and please apply it, you know, I don't want to talk of genders because we're talking about energies, okay? So please apply it to your situation. If you are a guy looking for a girl, then those are the qualities you look for in a girl. And if you are a girl looking for a guy, then those are the qualities, you know, you look in for in a guy. Um, you want someone that is like a power manifester with the um, magician. Yeah, you want someone that um, has the mindset of that they can create. Yeah, um, a very, very positive looking person into the future. Yeah, you like if people are positive. Um, I also see that you like when there's a mu mutual bond between the two of you. Like there also should be friendship. You like it to... Um, mm, I also see with the angel here that you like it when your person is very angelic. Like very... Um, how do you say? You like them to be innocent, but at the same time, you like this power manifester. It's like um, those two, actually, you know, like they are almost two opposites, but it doesn't have to be. But you really like, maybe also if a guy is not like a woman chaser, yeah, with this angel guy here, I see that, you know, that someone who's of course true, to you and if you are in a relationship that you know who wants that that um you know guys chasing other women but who is like confident in himself yeah i see that that confident in himself and is able to have a friendship with you but also love yeah so you want this deep bond almost like a friendship that is developing into love that's that's what you really go for um you like it when the guy has feminine features. 
I see here. But we will look later into the cards. But I see I mean, we have the Queen of Pentacles here. So you like guys that are like in passive energy, that are not very aggressive and have very, very feminine features. I see that here. Um, who are almost like a girlfriend. <laughs> I don't know, you know, why that's coming through. But you like to be that the guy is like your friend and almost like, you know... Mm, like you can, ch like with a girlfriend, like you can chat with him all day or you can talk gossip with him, something like that, you know, like you really want someone that, that is similar like to a guy and a girl in one, but still you, you are very attracted to someone who is, um, who is attracted by a lot of people, like, you know, you, who is attracting a lot of people. So this is kind of strange here because I see that you like someone who is successful, who makes money. Yeah, but um, it's not the main thing. But you like when someone is um, standing on their own two feet. Yeah, they're not dependent on anyone and they can manifest their dreams, whatever it this is. And it's attracting a lot of suitors but at the same time you want them to be angelic and um you know your friend and your girlfriend and your guy friend all in one you know no <laughs> ah this is very interesting <laughs> so this is from the characteristic you know let's see what you don't like in guys let's get two cards what you don't like what is pile one disliking as characteristic in guys? What are they disliking? Okay, when someone is mm, like in their mind, not open. Yeah, you don't like it if you, if someone tells you, no, um, I don't believe that. Or, you know, when you are not on the same wavelength, you, you don't like when someone is not able to move in whatever way they want so basically if someone is how can you say that i'm trying to think of um you want someone that's open that can think in every possible direction you know what you don't like judgment yeah you don't like to get judged by your person yeah, you don't like it if your person judges you, maybe for your past even, or for your choice of how you want to live. Yeah, you don't like that. So it's basically judgment. You don't like it if, if you say something or if you if the guy you, you are with, if he's judging you for your decisions or for whatever you have done in your past. You don't like if you get judged by a person that you want to be with yeah so now those are the characteristics i mean there's much more but this is what i could read out of it and now we're going to look into what physical traits are you let's get two physical traits what physical traits is pi one attracted to we have facial hair okay you like beard and please apply it to it fits. I mean, if you have a woman, you don't like facial hair, right? If you are a guy and you're looking for a woman. What else, universe? What is part one attracted to? Petite. So you like, um, you know, like guys that are not smaller than you, but who are woman like I see that with a petite you know like not like woman like but but how do I say it like feminine yeah feminine guys okay now we're gonna see um you know with my BTS cards um what BTS traits are you actually attracted in guys what BTS traits are you attracted like what characteristics of our boys are you really going for if your guy has it? Let's see. 
<laughs> I really like this. This is a fun reading. Let's look for it. Come on. Um, okay, you like it when they love waltz like Tay? <laughs> and I don't know why I did those. You know, we did this together, remember, in one of our lives. Um, you like your guy to be an all-rounder like JK? What else? Have one. Let's get um, two more. <laughs> you like when they act like a cute mochi, like um, Jiminy. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> and you like it when they have wow smiley eyes like Jimin and when they love teasing. Okay, let's get five things. You like that. That's what you like. So, now we're gonna see um, with um, the BTS card, what person, like who of BTS you are actually attracted to. Maybe that's even your bias. So let's look. Have one, please. Who of all boys are they attracted to? And we have Jin! Wow! Okay, so you might be Jin biased or you might love the looks of Jin. But it doesn't have to be, guys. You know, if you go for it and you say, no, actually, I like Jimin, that's fine. You know, this is a channel reading. Sometimes only parts of the reading resonate, you know. And I just want to have this as a fun reading. I think that's really cool. So now we're going to see what else the universe wants to throw into your direction. Yeah. So you like infectious laugh. What else you like? Um, okay. You like spring. Springtime is important for you. You like Capricorn as well. Or you might be a Capricorn. And, okay, we have two weeks. So, there is something... There might be something happening in two weeks, okay? Um, I also see that you like with the two weeks that, um, you know, a relationship develops fast. You don't like it if you have to wait so long. This is what it's telling me, you know, if like if you have someone, if you get to know someone, you really like um, a fast development of um, connection. So what, how can you recognize your person? So we're going to see one card. How can you recognize your person? Okay, and we see, will be the one to ask you out. Okay, so the next person that is similar like this will be the one to ask you out. <laughs> I think this reading is fine. How do you like that? Okay, please tell me, Purple Lights, if you like these kind of readings. Because, um, I mean, they're fun, but some of you might not like it. But I hope you had fun, okay? See you guys. Hello, part two. You chose the Romantic Tarot. So we're going to see, we're going to look into what kind of guys are you attracted to. So first we're going to draw um, with a card deck here, we're going to draw characteristic that you are drawn to. Then we'll look into two characteristics that you don't like at all in guys or girls. Please take it as it resonates, you know, those are energies. You could be a guy looking for a girl. You could be a guy looking for a guy. You could be a girl looking for a girl. You could be a girl looking for a guy, okay? <laughs> we're not talking about genders here, but part two, who are they attracted to? So, part two, who are they attracted to? And then we're going to also look into BTS cards. We're going to do everything. <laughs> I really like it. Please tell me if you like this purple lights, yeah? Okay, first up is the judgment card. Then you have the three of pentacles. Then you have the two of swords. And then you have the eight of, what's that, wands. Okay. So, what are you attracted on? You like it if a person is non-judgmental. And if they, um, we see here you like artists. Definitely you like someone that is creative. Yeah. You like someone who is strong and powerful 
who um, other people are seeing. We have someone in the spotlight, so you like it or you are attracted to people that are in the spotlight, that are seen also by others. Um, you just like it when someone does their own thing. With the judgment, they don't care about judgment. Yeah, You're very drawn to people who, auth who are authentic to themselves. Like you are guys or girls that are authentic to themselves, who just do their own thing, who do their own art. They don't care about others, who are peaceful with themselves, who can build up their own empire. That means, you know, they don't care. Yeah, you like people who are actually not dependent on others. Um, you like it uh, if they have the heart on the right place. You know, I also see that you um, you like it if a person is not only seeing it black and white. You know, some people, they only see it, see things in black and white and in the middle there is nothing. You like it if a person is actually, they can stand in between as well. Like, um, you know, that they don't have to make a choice. That they say, well, um, you know, the world is not only black and white for me, there's also something in between and sometimes I just can't decide. So you actually like that if someone is like that. Yeah, if someone is like, well, you know, not these people, mm, I have to look for an example, like, you know, um, you know, some of us are like, I know what I want and I just want this and that's the direction I go to. Yes, you like if this person is very independent and they just do their own thing, but you also like if they are like um, standing in the middle and considering all kind of ideas. I mean, of course, we all are like this, but um, how can I say that? This is like someone who is not saying like, I want only this or I want only this. They want like different things. It's like if you ask them, well, what what kind of chocolate do you like? Let's let's do it as a very easy example. And they say, well, I don't know. I like all kinds of or what kind of women do you like? Well, I don't know. I like all kind of women. Yeah, they're like they don't have a type. They don't pref prefer only one thing. They have like different things that they prefer and also different things that they do in life. Yeah, someone very versatile. And here with the Eight of Wands, someone very passionate. Someone very passionate who believes in soul connections, you know, who has a very deep understanding of um, also what passion is. And also who is detached from their ex. You like it when guys don't chase their ex you know when it's done it's done that what that's what you like yeah okay what else is there anything else so very creative is coming through um very strong actually yeah also sometimes people who are loud you know who can also with the eight of wands you like it when people are loud sometimes <laughs> it's very interesting so let's see what you don't like give me two things that pile two doesn't like okay you don't like um kissing or making out in public <laughs> Yeah, that's why you you are rather shy about this. I don't know why. Well, you don't like it, like making out in public where everyone can see it. That's not what you go for. And you don't like people who um who can figure you out. Like you you like to be mysterious, pile two. Um, yeah, you you don't like people also who um think they know everything about you. Yeah. Basically, it means you don't like to be, you're a very secretive person, part two. You don't like people that, um, that, well, you like people that are in the spotlight and that, um, that are very strong, but you don't like to show. Like, you don't like it if there's a, if you guys are a couple that they just show it in public that much. You're very secretive about this. Okay. So let's see what physical features are you going for. Let's do two things. Two physical features that pile two is really admiring in people. And we have, okay, you like it when they are older. So you like age gaps. You think that's attractive. 
and you like it when there are unique features. I mean, we have a nose here, but you know, it doesn't have to be a nose. Um, it can be just that you like it when someone has a mole on a special place or, you know, a, a, a special thing about them, you know? <laughs> I don't know what that is, but there could be different features for every one of you. So now we're going to use my BTS deck. I'm going to see what BTS qualities that the boys have you are really attracted to. Let's see. We're going to draw five things. What BTS qualities are you attracted to, Pal 2? And please tell me if you like this reading. So we have foodie like Jin, who likes to eat, who likes to enjoy food, also loves to go out and eat. Yeah, You loves mint chocolate. Wow, it's all about food. So you're someone that likes mint chocolate like JK. Is we have, what's this, lovers wearing coats? <laughs> I don't know why I wrote this, but we did this these cards in one of our lives. I love swearing coats, not lover swearing coats. <laughs> so you love that actually when they wear like raincoats and stuff. Okay, then we have sexy brain like Junie. You go for that. And you like when they are wealthy. Okay, so you're attracted to people that are in a spotlight. I saw that here too. So you go for that. You like that when they are wealthy. Okay. So, now we're going to see which one of our boys would make it, yeah? But please know, this is a channel reading, not everyone resonates with that. So, who would it be, Pal 2? And we have Juni, okay? So, Pal 2 would go for Juni from the um, attractiveness. I like this reading. So now we're gonna see what clues the universe also wants to give you, what is important to know or what you like, but what are you attracted to? So all different kinds of clues, what is coming through. So we have the first is the initial clue. So those could be initials that you have, yeah, your initials, or maybe even from the next one you're dating. What else you wanna know? What else you want us to know? I mean, we have you're attracted to classes, pal two. Okay, you're also attracted to. Okay, you like. Okay, you like snail mail. So you like to write back and forth. I see you really like communication with your person. I see that also here with the eight of wands. That's the most communicative card. So you real really like talking and communicating. That's why Juni makes so much sense in the pile as well, right? One more clue. Okay, I feel the active lifestyle. So you really go for someone who has a very active lifestyle, lifestyle, someone who is not like a homebody, someone who goes out and um, does things, you know. So now, last card for today is we're gonna get a clue. How you will? How will you identify that person? Who that is? Who similar? And just came out, has a noticeable facial feature, and that was in that other thing too. So there's something here about your person, definitely, that everyone says about them. Like, you know, they're, they have a special mole, or, you know, something in their face is different than other people. Yeah, or it's very distinctive. And that's what you, that's how you can um, identify them. Okay, like dimples, or special eyes you know very beautiful so how do you like that purple lights please tell me i really like this reading something different okay <laughs> take care bye hello hello my part three you chose the titanic deck i want to shuffle it already so first of all we're gonna see four um characteristics that you really like that you are attracted to in people then we're gonna see um what you don't really like. Then we're gonna get um, features, what you are attracted to in looks. We also get um, characteristics of our boys that you are attracted to. Path three, please. So now we're gonna see. The first one is um, the five of wands. Path three, what are they attracted to? The ace of cups. 
temperance. Wow, 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 wow. That's like all cups cards. All cups cards. That's interesting. So let's see. So what I'm seeing here is that um, you like someone that sticks out of the masses. Yeah, when we see this card here, there are a lot of people, um, you know, fighting each other. This is also the card of someone, um, you know, if you like it when people compete for you, part three, and you like it when one person really sticks out of the masses, when one person is so interesting that you can see them like in a crowd, you can instantly notice them. Yeah. So you like people who are unique and who are very loving, who believe in real love. Yeah, you are someone that looks for this spiritual love, this this once in a lifetime love, this um, you know, person. You like it when this person actually believes in this. Yeah, it doesn't have to be that they believe in the in the institution of marriage, but you want that they believe in real love. You you really are attracted to this. Yeah, if someone you know has an idea of of how love should be or how love what love is for them, and they really believe in that. With the temperance, you like someone that you can um, really have good communications with, and they are very. Um, how can I say? It? They have different. Like people would say they're moody sometimes, you know, but you like it if they are interesting or people are interesting for you if they have different sides of them, especially to their emotions. Like if one person could be um, mad one in one minute and then be, um, um, you know, I don't know, happy the next ones, like when they can change moods really fast. You like that. Actually, this is, um, you know, one trait that people really are you know sometimes people say mm, I don't like it if people change change their moods so often because I don't know what to do in these um, situations but you are someone who really is attracted to that yeah you like it if they change moods um, you also like if you can like drink with your person mm, you know if they can be your drinking buddy or something like that if you can have or you can just have long conversations like if you would like long nights of conversations and bonding. That's what you go for. Um, with a Knight of Cups, you like someone that is expressing their love to you. Yeah, you like someone that is expressive of love. We see that here as well. Someone who really can, can speak their feelings. Yeah, making compliments. You really like to get compliments. You like persons who um, speak how they feel you like when that's why you also think this is attractive with a mood yeah you like very unique people person has to be unique and very loving for you you like when they speak their mind and when they know about their feelings and when they express their feelings that's what you go for yeah very unique that's what you what you really like part three now what you don't like what is part three not liking in, in their partner yeah if they are lying or um, ghosting like if they don't tell you and they just leave you know you don't like it if, if if a person is telling you something else of their feelings and that was not even true you don't like it at, at all you know you want to let them speak their truth you are only interested in their true feelings yeah and what you also don't like is when people are Mm. with a moan only seeing negative yeah, that's what I'm hearing like only seeing negative you know or sometimes don't know what they want you don't like this because you like someone who who is wanting you who is telling you I love you I'm here for you I like that on you you don't like if people are also shady yeah if they are hiding from you, you, you want someone that really is open to you and you can talk to them all night and um, they're not hiding something from you. This is hiding. Yeah, You can't stand if people are, I mean, who does that, you know, but you, you really are someone that walks away right from when this happens, you go. Yeah, you don't like people hiding stuff away from you, like your partner. Okay. So you don't like like mis mysticism, you know, you, it's like if a person is too mysterious, you don't like it. You, you want them to be open. You want them to tell you everything. Okay, what are features that you go for? 
Haha. <laughs> Let's see, what are features that you go for? We have big lips, okay. So you like lips. What else, universe? One, one more. Okay, and you like colorful hair, part three. You like colorful hairs. Like you, yeah, you go for someone very unique, I feel here, you know, someone that really stands out of the masses, who is open about themselves and who talk with you and who talk about their feelings, who are open about their feelings, you know, who are not hiding anything. That's what you go for. Okay, now I want to see with our BTS cards, what characteristics of the boys that you really are attracted to. So I think that's fun. We wrote them in the life, remember guys? So part three, what features of the boys do they go for? So I already picked this. It's fairy like, fairy like Jimin, so very fairy like, yeah? Very fairy, you like that. You like this innocence. Cuts onions like Juni. <laughs> <laughs> then we have okay you like piercings like JK has okay two more we have yeah again look loves changing hair you definitely go for different hairs color and then we have cute like Jimin so a lot of Jimin is and JK is coming out here but we're gonna see so now I'm gonna draw one of our boy that you would really go for but, you know, it could be your bias, but please take it as it resonates, you know. It doesn't have to be, guys. It doesn't have to be. This is a general reading. Who is it? Oh my gosh, Jim and Z? There's a lot of Jiminy here. A lot of Jimin energy. You go for Jimin energy. Interesting, part three. So let's see. What are other things that the universe is saying that you like or go for let's see first card up is you like it if someone has a pet so that you see their caring nature we have um, a via friend yeah so you like dating um, if um, you know you don't like those dating sites you like to date um, if a friend is um, making you know arranging something you you maybe in your past you went on dates arranged by friends or you really like that then you know your friends like them already so an important number is 888 so 8 might be an important number in your connections or maybe august i don't know what else universe one more card and we have earth so um you could be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn or you like earth sign or you dated earth signs before okay you like practicality as well here i've seen though um you know that i think you are an earth sign because i'm seeing here a lot of water energy you really like the water energy in people so I've, i guess you are an earth sign so now i want to see one important feature that and this card fell out so i'm going to see what this is one important feature that how you can recognize the next person that is like this and let's see what it says it says has been extremely hurt by a loved one in the past okay so this person has been through a lot yeah you will notice this person that you really go for that you really like that you really are destined to meet maybe um that they have been hurt by a lover or a family member yeah this is how you can distinguish them they have a very dramatic past okay and maybe that's why you know all they're open and they really talk about how they're feeling yeah maybe they even tell you this that's all what i'm having part three i hope you like this reading and i'm saying bye Hello, part four welcome to your reading so this reading is very cool so what are you attracted to i already shuffled your pile so we're gonna first we're gonna look into what are you attracted to then we're gonna see what you don't like in people then we're gonna see what facial features and features overall then we're gonna see what features of bts that you are attracted to okay so this is a fun reading so please show me part four what do they go for what do they go for in 
what are they attracted to so let's see so wow okay passion you want someone passionate someone fiery someone you burn for okay the ace of wands someone very sexual yeah you really like this look at this <laughs> i mean hello you like to dance with fire yeah you you like to risk um you like relationships that are risky like out of the norm you know like different gaps where there might be an age gap there might be um something that is risky about this whole thing king of pentacles um i feel here you like to be in the six of cups interesting definitely age gaps you like you like there, when there's something risky and you like um, very passionate people. You like if someone is standing up for themselves, you know, if someone is really um, maybe also an activist, someone who's really fighting for something. Yeah, you really go, you're really attracted to this. Um, you really like um, someone who, yeah, I mean, it's risk to date, you know, it's like this fire that really is, um, yeah, it's, it's like you want this risk, you want this stimulation, yeah, you really go for that. You also like it if, well, the king of pentacles, I feel that you like it if you are the king of pentacles, like you are the king, like if you are dominant in the relationship, but it could also be the other party yeah that you like it if the other party is dominant but you like there is that there is a difference here of dominance and um you know like there is a there is a gap it's not like you you mm, you don't go for equal equality really much you know and um this is not something bad i'm just want to say that you like it if yeah, if there is some some kind of um, risk involved and some kind of danger and some kind of authority here where one of you is the authority person and one of you is, you know. With the Six of Cups, it's like um, you really like if people are interested in their past if people have a past and they value their past, yeah, when they have um, or they cherish memories and if you feel that soul connection, yeah, you really want a purpose why you love someone and that's why you go for these risky things because um, you really want love to be a purpose, yeah, I really feel that here, that you don't care if this person, if there's a rule that you cannot date them, but if you feel that you are meant to date them, then you date them and you don't care if there is a gap. Yeah, you like the risk of this. You like the passion. You like this, oh my gosh, we're meant for each other, but um, we cannot make it because there's too much difference. But I go for it anyway because I like those things. That's what you really go for with the death here. Yeah, it's like usually it would not be possible to live such a connection you know because um there might be an age gap involved or there might be a religious gap involved but you go for it because you feel like you guys are soulmates or even twin flames but y you feel it you know you feel it you also like if you guys um gift each other or tell each other how much you love each other you know you like when there's the fire never ever burning out like if this connection is going on and on and on and on, you really like this. This could even be like, you know, you part ways and then you come back together. You part ways and then you come back together. You actually like this because you think then, you know, this is meant to be. Because you're always, but at the same time it's hard to live. So you really draw in these risky relationships, you know. You probably know what I mean, pal four. If you chose that pile. Okay, what you don't like at all in partners? What you don't like at all, Path 4? Okay, we have the Five of Wands. Um, okay, you don't like if you guys fight. Like, you don't like fights in relationship. It's interesting because you love the fire, but actually you don't like fights. You don't like also competition. 
Yeah, you don't like competition. You you like it when when mm, someone is like author like more authority, and you or the other one can tell what to do. You know what I mean? It's interesting. And you don't like what's this? this? Um, yeah, you don't like it if your person is running around with other people. Like, um, you know, the Three of Pentacles is this card of um, working together in a community. So, part four, what you don't like is actually if they have, um, like, too many people that they um, sneak around, you know. I don't know how to say that. It's like you want to be the only one for that person, yeah. You, you like to be um, hanging out the most with that person. You don't like if, if, you know, they have a lot of friends and they say, well, let's do an evening with friends. You go with your friends and I go with my friends. You don't really like that, yeah. You don't really like that. So now we're going to see um, features. What are you going for? What is part four going for? Features. Give me two. So first one is, okay, you really like blue eyes pile. Four. What else? What is part four liking? Okay, see, age gap, I told you. And I also feel that you like it when they are younger. So you are a little bit older than them. Okay, let's see what uh, what characteristics of our boys are you attracted to part 4. What is part 4 attracted in our boys? Okay, so you like if they're, if they're not really religious. You maybe are an atheist yourself. Okay. Loves dancing like Hobie, so you really like it if someone likes dancing. Is flexible like Jiminy. <laughs> what did we write in that <laughs> in that line of purple lights? A joker guy. <laughs> so you like someone who makes fun or is funny. Is not aging. <laughs> Interesting, right? So definitely gay age gaps. You really go for, for something that's like risky, I feel here. So now we're gonna see who of our boys would it be, like if you would date, who would it be per four? And I already got one. Yeah, it's Teangi. So you would go for Teangi visuals. <laughs> that reminds me, wasn't that from the um, car, from the car karaoke, right? Interesting. So now we want to see more. We want to see more what the universe wants to tell you, what you like, or what's, you know, we're going to see what you like. Give me more universe. What else you, can you tell me about Pi 4, what they go for? So those are um, initials that your significant other might have or you have that are important or maybe from exes. I don't know. 444 might be an important number that just came out for in this connection. Or the four in general. We have romance. Okay, so you you like to be romantic. Yeah, I also see that with the six of cups. You know, this is about exchanging presents. You really like it if you guys, you know, if you um, present each other tokens of your love, you know. And this card come out classy. So you also go for the classy type, the never aging type. No. <laughs> <laughs> the flexible one that loves dancing. Okay. Oh, yeah, we saw dancing here. Yeah, right? So, very interesting. So, now we're going to see. Last card for today is how can you see who this is? How can you see who the next person is that is like this? So, we're going to get a clue card. How can you recognize that person? What are they doing that you can recognize? By four, please. How can Pi 4 recognize this person? And it says, has a triple syllable first name. What's that? A triple syllable. Oh. Like Young is um, two syllables. So their first name is like three. Like what, what name has three syllables? Hmm. 
Christopher, Christopher, ja, <lacht> or something like that. <lacht> okay. My, my last name has three syllables, but something like that, you know. Has a th triple syllable first name. Interesting. So, wow. <laughs> so that's what we're having. I hope you like it. Okay. Um, take care, purple lights. Bye.